Introducing dog and cat. Here are dog and cat. Dog and cat like bouncing. Cat found a box. It was a storytelling box. So they decided to tell some stories. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. They lived with their mother in a small house in a forest. One day, Mother Pig said to the three pigs, who were not really very little, This house is too small for all of us. It's time you each had your own house. The three pigs were a bit sad, but they agreed that it was a good idea. So they said goodbye to Mother Pig and went off into the forest. <coughs> Look out for the big bad wolf, called Mother Pig, but the three pigs were too excited to listen. <coughs> the first little pig found a pile of straw. I can use this straw to build my new house. It will be easy. It might be easy, but it won't be very strong, said his brothers. It might blow away. But the pig didn't listen to them. He made his new house out of straw. It didn't take long. And although it was a bit wobbly, he was very pleased with it. The other two pigs walked on. Look at that pile of sticks, squealed one. I can make a lovely house with them, better than a straw house. Yes, it will be better than a straw house, said the other pig. But it will rattle and it might fall down. But the pig didn't listen. It didn't take long to build his new house. It rattled a bit, but he was very proud of it. The third pig walked on. He saw a pile of bricks. I can make a nice strong house with these bricks, thought the pig. And he did. It was warm and dry. And it didn't wobble or rattle. He was so happy he decided to make some soup. Meanwhile, the straw house had a visitor. <laughs> little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, not by the hairs on my chinny chin chin, replied the pig. I will not let you in, he shouted. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, growled the wolf. And he did. It was easy. The pig ran away as fast as he could. He ran to the house of sticks. The wolf is coming, he shrieked. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in, snarled the wolf. No, not by the hairs on our chinny chin chins, replied the pigs. We will not let you in. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, growled the wolf. And he did. It was easy. The two pigs ran as fast as their feet could go. They ran to the brick house and slammed the door behind them. Would you like some soup? said the third little pig. Soup? The big bad wolf is coming. He wants to make us into soup. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in, said a growly voice. No, not by the hairs on our chinny chin chins, yelled the three pigs. We will not let you in. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, shouted the wolf. 
and he huffed, and he puffed, and he huffed again, and then he puffed a bit harder. He had a rest. Then he huffed, and he puffed some more. But nothing happened. The brick house didn't blow away or fall down. The big bad wolf was cross. <laughs> then he saw the chimney. Hmm. I've got an idea, he said to himself. He climbed onto the roof. <laughs> little pigs, little pigs, he shouted. I'm coming in. The big bad wolf slid down the chimney and landed with a splash in the pan of hot soup. With a howl, he shot back up the chimney and ran away into the forest. <laughs> he didn't like our soup, said the third pig. We'll have it, said the others. The brick house was big enough for them all to live in. Mother pig could stay whenever she wanted, and they all lived happily ever after. <laughs> <laughs>